Okay, you guys, we've got some really spooky things coming up here, and I promise we're... That's weird. Let me just move that out of the way here. Don't even know how that happened. Okay, like I was saying, we've got some really spooky things. How the hell does this keep happening? I, this shouldn't... I, it's not even possible. Like, I... Okay, there's only so much of this I can take. I'm... Hey there, what is up my fellow optimist? This is your captain speaking. And welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, seriously, welcome. I am so, so happy to have you here. Pull up a chair and hey, bring a friend next time. And if this is not your first time here, welcome back. I love you so, so much. You are my best friend. And I need to know whether you are a dog person or a cat person. This is very, very important information, and it tells me everything I need to know about you. Dogs or cats, make your choice. Today, we are going to be playing Short Spooky Scary Horror Games. Three Short Spooky Scary Horror Games to be exact. And as per usual, those short, sp those short spooky scary horror games come from Itch.io. If you want me to play your short spooky scary horror game, let me know. Hit me up either on social media or on the Discord or on the Reddit or down in the stuff. <laughs> Let me know what your game is and where I can find it and I will put it on my list of games to play. But today we are going to be playing three that I've already picked out, starting with game number one. Game number one is called Horror Noodles. Ah! Yes, you heard that right. Horror Noodles. Spooky spaghetti creepy pasta, but not just, you know, creepy pasta. <laughs> this is by me home tropolia on itch.io and here is what the game developer has to say about horror noodles as a student you wake up in the middle of the night peckish you remember that you can make some noodles as you are alone and your parents are out of town this sounds like the setup to every great indie horror game you're alone you're hungry parents are away that's the trifecta I say, without further ado, let's jump into this and let's see just how spooky this spaghetti could possibly be. Let's play Horror Noodles. Alrighty, here we go. Oh, best time. Like, there's a speedrun option to this? Monster. There's monsters. Alright, let's go ahead. There's no sound that I'm aware of. Let me just make sure I'm not crazy here. There is sound somewhere. Alright, play. Why did I pass out again? Well, I got, guess I gotta get something to eat. Why did you pass out? Is this like a regular occurrence for you? Feels like that's a bad thing. You gonna turn your TV off, sir. Oh. Why'd that light go off just now? Yes, that is indeed the TV. Let's turn that off. Which way is the kitchen? It's New Year's Eve. Why are you alone on New Year's Eve? That's rough. Take pot. Now kids. Water noodles, eggs, sausages, spices. That is the recipe. That do be the recipe though. Grab eggs, grab sausage. Oh. Grab sausage. Bowl, table, ladle. Okay, spices. Where do spices live? That's a good spot for the knife to be. Where do be the spices? That's spices. Ah, onion spice. This works with any food. Don't I know it. Water. Where's the noodles? Where do we keep the noodles? Where would I keep noodles? In a cupboard, maybe, possibly? Or... Where be the noodles? Can't open any of those. I guess we'll take the pot. I should fill this with water. Let's get some water. Oh, 
Seems to be broken. I should check the pipes downstairs. I also don't know where the noodles live. <laughs> oh, why in hell would you even have this here? That's horrifying. Oh, there's the noodles. Let me just grab those. Why you got a mannequin in your pantry with your lamps? It's weird. You know you could just heat up soup too. Like that feels like the easier plan, but sure. Make yourself some pasta. This is how we get down to our dungeon slash basement? Nope, that's just our filthy toilet. Ew. Gross. Somebody ought to clean. Who turned the TV back on? We're trying to save electricity over here. Stop. Yeah, that's got to be how you get to the basement. Fantastic. Down we go to the basement. Your pipe is sprung a leak. Here, we get some duct tape. Done. That's how you fix things. Good thing I've got my flashlight with me. Since people be turning all the lights off. And shutting doors. Who locked the damn door? Tell your monsters they are being more than a little bit inconvenient. Shelf. Well then where? The door's just locked. Where is that weird noise coming from? Up the stairs? Down the stairs? Door definitely seems to be locked. We're gonna run at the monster. Go! Oh. <laughs> the amount I had to hype myself up for that. I'm like, running at the monster. Go! That monster was in the pantry earlier. There he is. Back where he belongs. I'll just close that. All right, anyway, time to get some noodles. We're just gonna completely forget about the part where there was a monster. There, we put the noodles and the eggs and the sausage. Hold on, I'm making food. There, okay, we got that cooking. I'm gonna answer the phone first. No? Oh. Well, somebody's screaming. I was gonna answer the door, but turns out, well, I gotta go look upstairs where somebody's screaming. Whoa, a blackout. I hope it goes away soon. Lucky me, it just went away. We still investigating up here? Everything seems fine there. Everything seems fine in my room, guys. All right, we'll go back and make our noodles. Where'd that come from? Look, I'm just trying to make noodles. I need something to stir this with. Done. It's clean enough. Almost done. I think they're done now. Now I can enjoy them in my bed and go back to sleep. Like you do. Always eating noodles up in my bedroom. Which seems to be fine. Nothing horrifying in my bedroom. Oh, that was it? Congratulations, you made some noodles. Wasn't so hard, was it? That was it? Um, I really wanna speed run this, ready, go. Now that I know there's nothing scary, 
This is easy. This is speed run. See how fast we can do this. Go! Go, 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 go! That's locked. That's stupid. I've already ruined my time. Oh, buddy! The pipe's broken. We'll put that there. Let's go downstairs. Tape. Pipe. Done. Oh no, the power went out. That's right, we'll go upstairs. And go back downstairs. Run! You don't scare me. Up we go. <laughs> Super speed run. Alright, time to make the noodles. Let's go. Let's go. Water. Go. Bam. Eggs. Bam. Just a minute. Spices. Noodles. And stir. That's weird. What was that? Let's go upstairs. Let's check it out. Oh, a power outage. How weird. Oh, it's done now. Let's go make our noodles. Oh, creepy. Almost done. Clean enough? Are they done yet? Up to bed. We'll see how we did. Bam! One minute, 43 seconds. <laughs> Okay, so that was horror noodles. That had some good scares to it. It was a very creepy atmosphere and an interesting task to boot. So well done on that. Game number two. Game number two is called Alone in Hell. This is by Mr. Conqueror on Itch.io. And here's what Mr. Conqueror has to say about being alone. You wake up in a rather strange and unfamiliar place. No exit, no windows or sign of life can be found. It seems as if you are trapped. You must explore this place and try and find an escape. This place is just empty, but is it? Have you done something to end up here, or has the world abandoned you? Uncover the truth and get yourself out of here, or maybe just find another way. Will we escape from hell, or will we be doomed to stay there forever? That is the question we must answer with Alone in Hell. So, let's get into it. Let's see what this game is all about. Let's play Alone in Hell. All right, Mr. Conqueror. Play! That's already ominous. Where am I? I don't know. Can I have a flashlight, please? It's dark. The last thing I remember is hearing sirens. There were also shouting police officers commanding me to get down on my knees. What did I do? What did you do, you weirdo? A flashlight? Weird. It is weird. We're just gonna go with it. Left is always right. We're going left first. What the hell is that sound? I don't know why, but I'm never hungry anymore. I haven't drunk water for what feels like a year. I've already forgotten the taste of every food I've ever eaten. You are definitely in hell. For sure. Hell's got wine, at least. This seems fine. Somebody just designing on the walls. It says go back. I used to be able to read, but now I can't even do that. Feels like the world is crumbling down on me. If we can't read, how are we reading? Go back, it says. All right, fine, we'll go back. Whatever. A lot of noises. Loud noises! Let's go this way. Into the bathroom. What's up with this bathroom? It's creepy as hell. Well, you have the world's biggest toilet in here, so that's part of it. I never pee or poop anymore. It's like my urinary system has completely disappeared. This place is driving me nuts. I can feel it in my bones. That was an interesting choice. Not gonna lie. Just, I never, I never urinate or defecate anymore. There's a big knife on the... Are you happy with yourself? 
I've been happier, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not picking up that knife? Alright, I guess we'll go back. I'm happy in here. This is where I'm happiest. In this place. think you can get away with this? I... I... maybe. I don't know what this is. What did I do? Why am I doing this? The world has surely abandoned me now. All I see are these masked people. Do people even exist? Well, these masked people do. Why did you do it? What did you do? Did you kill someone with a butcher knife? Ah! You are dead. I seem to be. Am I in hell? Oh no, what have I done? I don't know, your flashlight's not working as well as it used to. Am I moving anywhere? Kinda, sort of? What does this say? You don't deserve hell. You don't deserve hell. You deserve much, much worse. Well, let me stand on this pentagram and you can give me worse. There's a cross. Why? How could you do this? What did I do? How could you? Just why? Welcome to hell. Well, you said I didn't deserve hell. Hi, guys. Oh, there's another one. Hey, buddy. How about back here? Ha! Huh? Okay. So did I murder a baby? Is that what happened? I gotta go touch the credits to quit. Slowly, slowly walk towards the credits. This is my first horror game, so please show support. Hope you enjoy. Touch it. It is during our darkest moments that we must focus to see the light. If you look at what you have in life, you'll always have more. If you look at what you don't have in life, you'll never have enough. For Winfrey. So that was Alone in Hell. Very interesting visuals, interesting concept, and definitely up to the creep factor. So well done with that. Have some chills. <laughs> Game number three. Game number three is called Contempt. This is by Misaka on Ichio. And here is what they have to say about their game. Contempt is a short horror story set in an old abandoned house. Enter and see how it has been preserved and what you can find inside. Definitely uh, the thumbnails look super creepy. I'm, I'm excited to get into this and see. So let's explore this old abandoned house and see what we can find inside. Let's jump right in and let's play. Contempt. Oh, there's a VR version. That's interesting. Let's start. Contempt. Ooh, like hyper realistic. Oh, that's how you turn your. Wow. Wowzers. Hyper realistic here. I don't think I would want to play this game in VR. Hard pass, no sir. Okay, I guess we will 
go back to our car. The end. Looking for another way in. Not sure how much I want to find another way in, to be honest with you. Oh, I can go over there. Was that open before? I feel like that wasn't open before. Let's head into the shed. Oh, a key. I love a key. Take the key. Take the hammer. Wow. Seriously, like, you went above and beyond on the graphics. Which is making it all the more terrifying. And a little eerie that these leaves are just, like, suspended. Let's go inside! Great! Oh! Why do I feel like I'm about to run into Jack and the family in here? Okay. She's pretty. That door's not going anywhere. Okay. This is, this is so creepy. I, I would be literally peeing my pants right now if this was in VR. I'm almost peeing my pants right now anyway. I'm gonna take this knife. Can I, can I have the knife please? No thank you! Just turn the light on? No. Oh, holy bananas. That's locked. Oh, bummer. We have to go somewhere else. Make less noise. Oh, good lord. Why are you in here? I'm sorry, what? Why did we come here? We just really enjoy going into condemned places where we can probably die? Is that just just how we find joy in life? I'm angry at this person. That's the bathroom. Yep. Oh, gross. Ew. Oh, you got the roaches? You got, we're going upstairs, aren't we? Frick. I don't want to go upstairs. Ah! Oh, I don't want to go over there. Do not, do not want to go in here. Huh. Oh, it's just a coat closet. What am I scared of? Nothing. Why would you be scared? Moreover, why the hell are you traversing this place at night? Can we just go? Let's just go. I know that's not the answer. You don't just go. This was not open before. Oh, good lord. There's a video cassettes. Why'd they scratch his face out? I don't like it. Oh, we're just gonna watch that. Okay, that's fine. We'll watch that. Could leave parts of your body broken. 
transparent tolerance is it now i've never tried it myself you may be surprised to hear that very Make it rough. but i'm told it's not easy to spin around on your head and health professionals say it may not be safe either they're seeing some injuries you're talking about break dancing Are they talking about breakdancing? That's how this man died. Tragic breakdancing accident. Oh. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's how we get to the kitchen. Why is your phone ringing? Like the part where we just leave, but I think that's not gonna happen. We're going up. Oh, there's some scratches on the walls. Can't open that door. Can't open that door. Can't open that door. Oh, good. She looks happy. What the hell happened to your walls? There's an aching deep inside that no longer I can hide, and it's telling me once more it's time to roam. But I cannot tell when I'll be coming home. well. See, there's the North Star guiding me, and a light on the horizon showing where I long to be. I travel on. I don't like that either. Look, there's moths. Bug Mommy's been in here. Where does that go to? Oh, okay, great. That's that door. Wonderful. At least I've got an ex escape path here. I don't really want to check out their closet, guys. Um. Oh! That's fine, I'll go in here. Here seems fine. Back the other way didn't seem like where I wanted to go anyway. Oh, great. All right, well, well we've explored. House is thoroughly explored. We're going, we're going home now. Going home. You all enjoy. Your haunted house. We're done. I've seen everything I need to see. Goodbye. Oh, bananas. <sighs> can't leave. Where do we go if we can't leave? There's that one door upstairs. If I had a heart rate monitor right now, it would be 
pretty obviously. Like I'm about to literally have a heart attack. Well, let's go this way. See, everything's fine. Where do you want me to go now? I've been everywhere. Oh God, I haven't been everywhere. Hard pass, I don't wanna go up here. Uh, your house is so big. It didn't look this big before. Outside again? Alright, peace out. We're going to my car. Good job! You scared the absolute living hell out of me. Like, <laughs> you just scared the hell out of me. <laughs> oh my god! That was unbelievably scary. Good gravy <laughs> I can't even imagine playing that one in VR holy bananas <gasps> my pulse slow back down Woo. well that concludes our three short spooky scary games for today I really hope you guys enjoyed those because I sure the hell enjoyed those and if you did go check these games out for yourself Give these indie developers your support and your love because I don't even, I can't even begin to comprehend how you start putting something like that together. Thank you guys so much for those. Those are awesome. If you guys enjoyed this, any part of this, please let me know. Leave me a like, hit that subscribe button so you can join this really fun community we've got going here and help us make it grow and get bigger so we can eventually take over the world. If you don't already, please consider joining the subreddit and or the new and exciting Discord, which I don't really know what I'm doing with yet, but I definitely am hoping to make that be a place where we can all connect and share things with one another and hopefully it will just be a really fun place to be and, and to be a community. So check that out. Links are down in the stuff and please follow me on all the social media so we can interact in all the different places on the interwebs. If if there's anything you guys want to see me do or play or try or whatever, whether it's here or on the stream, I stream Wednesdays and Sundays, let me know down in the stuff or you can let me know over here, just about anywhere. I've given you plenty of places to tell me what you want me to play or do or try or whatever. Hit me up. Please remember that you are so special and important and awesome and talented and funny and loved and you make the world and my life better. So please stick around. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and supporting, and I will see you next time. Bye. Everything changes. Oh, okay, I forgot what to do. <laughs>